Welcome back, folks. I want you to take a look over here. This is the Tiger Forex Report by Teddy Kekstat. Now, every Monday, you know, unless we have off, this is getting uploaded. And this is a seriously informative newsletter. Uh, it is chock full of information, and Teddy spares uh, no detail on it. Uh, through the, he talks about the central banks, the FX pair divergence, shifting trade zones, which currency pairs to watch, and freestyle chat with subscriber questions regarding the markets. He also has a webinar archive, which I recommend, uh, and that was uh, from April 19th. Uh, Teddy, are you with us? Can you hear me? I can hear you clearly, Jacob. How are you doing, Teddy? Oh, I'm doing great. It was a nice, relaxing holiday weekend. I bet it was. It was for me as well. So, Teddy, what are we looking at today? Uh, well, we, you know, we have holiday markets. We've been kind of flatlined, obviously, coming into today's trading. So um, I think some of the markets to really look at right now is the yen, um, which is having a nice little pullback off of the highs that were set last week. Um, I think it's a good opportunity the traders to start to look to buy back into this rally um i think i know you have a lot of gold traders that are watching the uh the yen and i think that's yeah, a bull that you're going to have to really respect for quite some time yet yeah absolutely absolutely now teddy i don't know if you um look at this at all but i was wondering if you could give me even some kind of cursory insight i've been um pretty focused on what's going on with the turkish lira right now okay and kind of um their you know, basically trying to get out of the extreme hyperinflation uh, that they've had and, and kind of seeing how Turkey plays out on mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the broad kind of global scale. What, what kind of insights can you provide on that? Uh, well, obviously, that's in a major bull trend. I actually just popped it back up. I mean, with just the, the kind of growth that we've seen in this market in the past few months is, is I mean, it's insane. <laughs> it's what yeah. it is. Uh, so now, one thing about the Turkish lira that I definitely want your visitor uh, listeners to know is that if you're going to even look at this currency, you got to have deep pockets. So the spread on this trade is very, very wide. Um, and also the moves are very extreme, especially right now. Now, uh, the trend, obviously, it has to do with something that's been building for the past few years in Turkey. You know, you can't just look at the past couple of months and look at how this currency has moved so radically. It's, it, this is a trade that's been building and building and building, you know, where it's had some very severe corrections to the downside. But overall, it's a very major bull. Um, and it's a lot of it has to do with the fact that because of the the, the spread getting in and out, the liquidity factor for this currency is not as strong as many other major currencies, and not that the Turkish lira isn't a big currency, which it is, um, but it is there is that much of a difference, you know, especially when you're having moves like that. So as far as if you're looking for direction on it, I'd be very cautious trying to sell into this move, and I think that probably the trend right now, what you're seeing is something that's going to maintain itself for quite some time yet. Super fascinating, super fascinating. Um, one other one I want to look at, um, this was with Argentina, okay? Okay. Um, now, this had more to do with what they had in their reserves as opposed to any particular preference. Uh, mm -hmm. But this is the first time that Argentina used the uh, renminbi or the, you know, the yuan uh, mm -hmm. to settle part of the IMF debt. Now, obviously, mm -hmm. China is having um, some issues in their um, economy. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, but the yuan is a little bit weak right now. Um, what are you mm -hmm. seeing um, with that regarding kind of other major currencies uh, in the world? Uh, okay, well, as far as weakness in the yuan versus other currencies, uh, you have to be very careful when it comes to the yuan and the, and the Hong Kong dollar. Um, the liquidity factor there is not like it is with major currencies. Um, there's also a very price fixing mechanism if you will by the government that's sure. involved with those sure. currencies you know so uh, as far as how weak or how strong they are you can't just look at the fundamentals that are going on respectively in the environment at the moment you have to look at what is the chinese government doing as well um i think that i can let me pull up the chart real quick i can do this in one second uh let's see let's pull up the it just takes me one second here to pull this oh, up yeah, for no you, problem. Jacob. It so. really is. It, it's such an interesting point to make, though, right? I mean, it's such a massive right. oh, player. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. It's such Absolutely. a massive player, you know, And but a lot of the way that they operate is, is far different 
and other major sure. players, you know. Okay, so I have I have the wand pulled up right now, and if you look at it, like on a monthly basis, it's coming back near its highs from uh, this is about six months ago. Okay, so obviously there's a bull trend here, uh, but we're, the way it's rallying right now, this is a key resistance area. So the question is, is 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 it is the overall strength there? Now we all know about the whole bricks thing. Mm. So if if the bricks trade is really starting to gain momentum, that's where you might see where the, this, that the one is going to break out to the upside. So, and this is a key thing. Now, if the BRICS trade is, um, let's say, not necessarily not going to work, but is not ready to really solidify sure. itself globally um, and gain the momentum that it seems that it really is doing right now, uh, then you may see a little bit of resistance here right now. You also have the fact that the Chinese economy, you know, we know their books are always cooked, but the Chinese economy is not doing as well as um, it had already had been projected for this time this year, you know. Right. So, and I think that's something that's holding back their currency. Uh, the volatility in the yuan, I think, you, is something that you can expect to see uh, hold for a while. I mean, if you look at the at the one right now, just over the past six months, it's had uh, very strong volatility, and it's also trending very strong. You know, whether it was whether it was going to the downside and reverse, and now it's in the in the strong bull trend. You know, so there is opportunities there. Um, I would look at the relationship with BRICS as far as how much support you'll get there. If that continues to grow in momentum and the trade deals continue, you know, just like you said with Argentina using the yuan, then yes, you're going to see more strength in the yuan's value versus relative other currencies, especially versus the dollar, without a doubt. Right. No, and it'll be interesting to see how that BRICS kind of um, agreement plays out, right? I mean, you, mm -hmm. you, your two major players, you know, I will say China and India, you know, Russia's in that mm -hmm. as well, but, you know, they have uh, some territorial disputes, and um, it seems, you know, they'll get onto some kind of path of working together, um, but mm -hmm. then it kind of all comes back uh, quite immediately. So, um, yeah, anyways... Really interesting stuff. At least for me, those were the two major um, currencies that I just found super fascinating uh, recently. Oh, those are great. Those are great insights and questions that you just uh, brought up, Jacob. Absolutely, for sure. No, and, and your insights, again, were phenomenal. And folks, seriously, check this out. The Tiger Forex Report. I read it every Monday to get it out, and it is just a great newsletter. Again, uh, you can try it out, um, and it's a 30-day uh, money-back guarantee on that. Teddy, thank you so much for joining us. Um, you look like you yeah. had a really relaxing weekend, so it's I good did. to have you I in did. here. I actually caught up on some rest because I was out of town <laughs> last week. I needed it. Absolutely. So. Well, Teddy, thank you so much, all right? Thank you, Jacob. We'll, we'll see, see you now. So.